Get up, get up, get up, get up. <laughs> Thursday morning, 5.52 a.m. Uh, hey, Google, what's the temperature? The temperature in Bracketville right now is 67 degrees. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Your nose is lo longer than a telephone wire. It's 62 degrees outside on my patio. I just checked. Anyway, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. It's right now, and right now it just went right on by. So, anyway, you know the drill. Dr uh, what else? Uh, never worry about what you cannot change. And if you saw the video about your vehicle is watching you, my short that I did, <clears throat> Then uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I, never mind. Uh, but I did turn off all sinking on my uh, vehicle, even though it it's not well. It you know it's high tech in the sense that it reports, it, it talks to somebody uh, all the time. But I turned off syncing data and sending my info and stuff because what happens is it sends the info to this corporation that collects data for car companies from car companies rather and then the, this company sells that information to insurance companies okay and uh, so you're let's say that you got a new car and you just wanted to see how fast it would accelerate from zero to 80 miles an hour for the hell of it and you did that well, that's a no-no because that would be reported to the insurance company and all those little things build up. And the next thing you know, you get a 40% rate increase and you ain't done nothing. <clears throat> that's the good news. Anyway, what else uh, is going on? Oh, for your viewing pleasure today, uh, we've got a spring fed huge swimming pool here at Fort Clark Springs. And I'm going to show it to you today. Anyway, Ralph P says, I would not doubt that. That's on your vehicle is watching you. Uh, my vehicles are too old for such gadget. Well, I don't know how far back this goes. It goes back several years. I, uh, there was a guy that did some research and did a video on it, had interviews with a lot of people involved. And, yeah, it was interesting. Uh, Blue Sky, uh, tool, on the tiny home says it's a tool shed. Okay, if that's what you want it to be. <clears throat> this is I don't know what this one is G-O-K-U-S well it's something it looks like go K-U super something but anyway this is on the crock pot I have the same crock pot at home it can handle a pot roast but no veggies just cut it off and, and, and cut it into eight pieces and don't forget pot roast packet then cook on low eight, eight to ten hours well whatever yeah if it works for you that's great thank you uh stephen gelbrick correct don't know if anything is gained by shutting off water heater after it cools off it would take a lot of juice to heat all that water yeah you're right I, i'm not sure either i do it i do cut it off though because you know i think it i think there's a benefit for me and the reason is I'm one person, not a family of 10. And, uh, but I can turn the water heater off for two days, two full days. And then the third day I have to run it for about 30 minutes to uh, heat, heat the water. And then on and on we go. Yeah. I, and I just do it for the hell of it. Do I need to? No. <clears throat> uh, anyway, what else we got here? We got uh, YTR on uh, cart ride. We have the yellow butterflies too. The caterpillars are crawling all over the road. Yeah, well, you know, caterpillars turn into butterflies and that's amazing. And I don't know if you've ever seen uh, a cocoon and then and then it bursts open. First of all, there's the worm will, will hang off of some plant or limb or whatever. And I used to watch them when I was a kid and, and you'd see them and then they'd spin this cocoon somehow uh, it's like magic and, and this ugly worm turn and then that thing will that cocoon will burst open and, and out comes a beautiful butterfly it's amazing and they figure that one out you talk about a magic trick I'm telling you uh patrick russell rusty you almost live in a nature preserve surrounded by trees and shrubbery your yards being 
untouched over the years, uh, al al albeit a little debris here and there, you picked a winner. Well, it did for me. You know, I don't think other people would like it here, and, and I'll say that honestly, because, uh, you know, it's Texas, you know, and, and it's hot, and it can be a little humid, you know, so, you know, it's, uh, it, for me, it works uh, for the time that I'm here. Joel we, Widenfeld, uh, your, if it, this is on the vehicle stuff, just like with the internet, it's going to become impossible to turn off, just as your privacy. No, you're right, we don't, as far as privacy, I don't think we've had any for, uh, for 15 or 20 years, you know, and uh, it's starting to have some impact, I guess. I don't know, I'm not gonna be negative about it. It's the way it is, uh, adapt and move forward, that's all I can tell you. <clears throat> Fisher restoration, uh, the vehicle stuff. Yes, but yes, but Rusty, you drive below the speed limit, and you're always very careful. So if any, so if anything, you might get a reduced rate. No, insurance companies don't go down. No. Well, I mean, I've gotten some discounts. I was with Doc Geico for 20 years or more, and I just changed my vehicle insurance to uh, a Progressive on my car and my RV. Why? Well, because the rates at uh, Geico uh, were higher, you know, and, and, I, and I said, well, look, man, I've been with you guys 20 years. You know, well, you know, our rates change, blah, blah, blah. So I hear you. Bye. Anyway, Scotty Thompson, cool video talk, bowling league tonight. Good for you, Scotty. He's hoping to get three 200 games. Get them, boy. Uh, Linda Benstead. Oh, this is Scotty again. Cool comment call. Thank you. Linda Benstead. They used to call that entrapment. Now it's whatever they want. They get. Yeah, you know, well, you know, see, the thing with this is there's no one, the vehicle stuff, there's no one to talk to about it. You know, you can't get it changed. Because, see, it's automatically, it just, it just goes to the computer, from your computer and your vehicle to the computer at, a uh, manufacturer that goes to a, automatically to a third party that accumulates data and automatically distributes it to the insurance company and automatically gets paid. You know, and you try to get a hold of somebody to get get it corrected, you ain't, ain't gonna happen. Mm -mm. Anyway, it's the way it is, but it's not a problem. Uh, where are we at here? This is a cart ride, Francis Ebicky. Good to see a horn toad. Yeah. Growing up in Central Texas, I saw them all the time. Since fire ants, I thought they were gone for good. Yeah, well, yeah, the, the poison and stuff we did for fire ants and a lot of other things kind of wiped them out. But uh, they're coming back a little bit. Al Fur, thumbs up. Uh, D. Anderson, does Jackie bake? I don't know. I like that. I like the first house there that Rusty lived, mainly because it seemed like it needed some work and it would be fun to fix up. Uh, yeah, it would have been if I knew how to do it and had the uh, equipment. D. Anderson, again, do they have good a good staff that cleans the showers and toilets real well at the RV park? I have no clue. Call them, ask them. Mimi is me. Good morning, Rusty. And your rangers have a wonderful day. Yeah, you guys all enjoy your day. Might as well. It's your, it's your life, your day. Real J.D. Vance. I'm not sure that's accurate. What? Your vehicle's watching you? Check it out. Check it out, my friend. Check it out, check it out, check it out. I mean, if my vehicle is gathering data, it's a 2023 Ford Transit Connect, plain Jane, and... Uh, yeah, it has it has it in there. You go to the settings, go to sync, and it'll it'll say uh, sync data connection on or off, and then there's some other collection on or off. I turn them both off. Henri Codger, that's heavy, brother, on your vehicle. Yeah, well, check it out. I, I'm glad that people watch the video, and at least they're becoming aware that that's happening. No, it's been happening for years. You know, if you think you know, and Toyota really does it. You know, and uh, and, the re and in fact, they use it to de deny warranty claims because uh, one guy, I, I watched the video, they interviewed a guy, he had been driving a Toyota something. He, uh, in the whole life of the vehicle, two years he had it, he got it up over uh, 85 miles an hour one time. 
they denied the claim based on that. And he, he didn't get it. Uh, uh, Larry King, Rusty, please grease your front end. Uh, it wasn't, it's not the front end that's squeaking. It's the steering thing. It's got the little leather, whatever it is. Anyway, I put some WD-40 on it and uh, it stopped it, or mostly. And, I, and I, the, the, as far as the grease, I, I, it's not the, the bulk, the joints in the front, you know, they've been greased, you know, they're okay. Alvin Masso, nice cart video, yeah. Yeah, the golf cart, the only problem I got with the golf cart right now that I'm thinking about, and it, and it may not be a problem at all, uh, it, we'll see, but I've got six six volt lead acid batteries. It's a 36 volt golf cart. Now, in the summer, if I leave that golf cart here, you know, uh, how, how, how do I take care of it? You know, if I'm gonna be gone for say four months, well, that's a good question. Because the first thing that happened is the water in the batteries will probably evaporate and that causes problems. Two, if you leave it on a charge, that will certainly cook out the water. If you leave a drip charger on it, do the same thing. And uh, so I, I'm not sure how you take care of maintain your batteries in the summer in Texas when it gets up to 105 here or so for extended periods of time. But anyway, uh, MG car, I don't think there is a better place to spend the winter than where you are right now. Uh, I don't think so either. It's okay. It's good, good as you can get. James Jackson, who made your mobile home 19 years ago? Clayton, I think. No, it, I mean, I know that's what it says on the paperwork. Al Fur, cool. Thank you. This is Night, Night Owl. Night Owl, yeah. All new cars have a little black square box, typically on the glass, on the, gla on the, gla on the glass. It's a GPS antenna. You should clip that wire. Uh, Clint Price, he says, so then the navigation system you paid for doesn't work. No, I hear you, it's a catch-22. Dogman Chronicles, check his channel out. I did not know they could do that automatically. Thanks, Rusty. Yeah, they've been doing it for years and, you, and no one knew about it. it. A lot of people have complained. There's been a lot of lawsuits, but uh, news media never picked it up. Now, there's been some YouTube videos about it that explain how to disconnect all these things. You can check it out on YouTube. Just, you know, check out vehicle data collection and see what you find. Rhonda K, bless you. You're welcome. Did I sneeze? <laughs> Same person. I love this community, Rusty. Thank you for the ride. Yeah, you got more of those coming up. And the reason there will be more videos like that is, you know, there's not, I'm not doing a lot of the things that, uh, give me an opportunity for a variety of content. I mean, I, I do some, but we, we, we'll keep it going. It's all right. Uh, Henri, oh, Cody Morrow, he's going back to Carrizozo early. Mark my words. I, I really was. You, you don't know how close you are to being 100% correct because here a few days ago, I had one of my fits and uh, my fickle fits. And uh, yeah, I was ready to go. I was, I was heading back, man. Yeah, and then I talked myself out of it. I said, man, give this house a chance. You know, give it a few months and see what happens, man. And and I'm glad I did because it's growing on me a little bit. I mean, I like it. It's home. And the more it becomes home, uh, the better I like it, you know. And uh, and the reason is, you know, as I get older, I'm going to need a place for this little butterfly to light. You know what I mean? Uh, but anyway, uh, we'll do two more here. Mr. Dusk. You may have to park your RV and drive to Zozo for a couple of weeks and come back. Get those fickle ants out of your pants with a nice long drive. Yeah, I thought about going out to Alpine. That's five hours. Tom says, I think you will appreciate having the neighbors closer here if you will encounter if you encounter if you will encounter health problems. I guess you will also be allowed to still ride the gold golf cart. She says gold cart, golf cart to the store and restaurants if you should lose your lose driver's license. The other place is really remote. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, you, you could be right about that, Tom. But anyway, guys, from Fort Clark Springs, Texas on a Thursday morning at 6.06 a.m., thumbs up, car pay diem, adios, buy, buy, buy anything you want, anytime, but if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Doesn't cost you one penny. Click on Click on the link, go to Amazon, and buy whatever you were going to buy. Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and all that stuff. Drinking water is good for you, period. 
Take deep breaths, breathe in deep, breathe out slowly. That relieves stress, lowers your blood pressure. Do that several times a day. And then what else? Stretch, swivel, walk, 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 pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice every single day. Why? Cause you'll feel better immediately and you may live longer, healthier because of that one thing. And then stand guard at the door of your mind. Accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, Enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. At ease, carry on, adios, bye-bye, hasta luego, vaya con Dios, aloha, until the next video. And on and on we go. I got to go. And this is my grocery shopping shirt today. Anyway, adios amigos. Enjoy your Thursday, tomorrow night at 5 p.m. Texas time. Beer 30. <laughs> anyway, guys, enjoy your day. Bye-bye.